Okay, what is up everybody? Since, since y'all know your boy loves WWE, and since I told you, I told you, like a few of my friends know, some people know, some people who got me on Facebook know, I told you the man Becky Lynch was gonna be on the cover. I told you, I told you, I told you. What's up? What's up everybody? Johnny Bond here and I told you. Y'all don't know, I told you the man, even though the boy Roman Reigns is on the cover also, but I told you Becky Lynch has had the best year for a WWE superstar in my opinion. Headline in WrestleMania, being Becky two belts. Come on. Come on. Come on, the man. The man. Hey, I see I do got a wrestling t-shirt on, but it's that boy TJP, you know. It's not the point, but here we go. Here we go into some WWE story mode because I ain't bringing you guys more, more of WWE until 2K20 comes out. When 2K20 comes out, I'm grinding. That's all I got to say. I've never had it easy in WWE. I've had injuries. I was released twice, and just when I had scratched and clawed my way to the top, my in-ring career was over. I could have sat at home Stay hydrated. with what I accomplished. But I decided that's not how I wanted my story to end. I wanted to show myself, my family, and anyone who's gone through adversity in life that you need to take on whatever challenges you face and fight for your dreams. Yes. 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 I can't lie right there. With that yes movement, when everyone came out, he was like literally one of my favorite superstars. I mean, he's still a beast. Don't get me wrong, his story looking a little, little weird right now, but he's still a beast. I love, I love that they kept him going as general manager, even when he got severely hurt. And then bringing back the showcase this year was in my opinion, very hype. Cause I love, I love, um, I love story mode games. So. Right Let's get into this. High school, I moved from Washington down to Texas to train at Shawn Michaels School. Oh, see, I didn't know that. It wasn't too long after it's very that, interesting. That I was signed by WWE. When I first got signed by WWE in 2000, I had no idea really what to expect. Most of the guys on TV had been wrestling for years and years, and at that point I'd only been wrestling for six months. Since I was still really new to all this, I was sent to home my craft at WWE's developmental territory, which at the time was in Memphis. Luckily, William Regal was a trainer there and he helped me out a lot. So with the WWE contract and Hall of Fame trainers, Brian Danielson was on the fast track to success, right? No, not quite. I was released in 2001, the first time I was released by WWE. It was really hard, actually, because I really didn't know what to do. William Regal told me this is a chance to learn. This is a chance to go travel the world, find who you are as a wrestler, and find who you are as a person. So I went back to the Indies and touring in Japan. But soon after that, in 2003, Brian Danielson made his triumphant return to WWE. Well, sort of. Brian Danielson from Aberdeen, Washington. I returned for some one-off matches on WWE's weekend shows. Sunday Night Heat and Velocity. I like this too. Look at that. Nice monkey flip. Well, you know this Brian Danielson is a very accomplished young man. We've seen him in the past and he's very, very good. I didn't really have a goal other than it was good exposure on TV. And one of these matches happened to be against a young up-and-comer named John Cena. Surely, this... Oh, was look at John great. Cena with those pants. I don't remember that at all. And I, I was a huge, huge John Cena fan. Let's get comfy in this chair. All righty. Welcome, everybody, to WWE Velocity. Michael Cole Let's see here. how you do this real quick, real quick. Nope, nope. Where is it at? Cause I, I don't know, I play this game a lot, but I don't know all these moves like that. Yo, was that, I think there was a fly in front of my face or something, I don't know what that was. Corey, Corey Graves and Byron Saxton, we kick things off with John Cena against, look at Brian yeah, Danielson. Yeah, there we go, there we go, fly, there we go! That's, Whoa, that's, 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 that's
this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really what sure why you let him out right okay, there. Let's see how you... I'm just looking at all these because little sometimes a little hard for me, and I don't want to get like directly up and have my body in the camera. So, perform a grapple at the head of the ground. At the head of ground, John Cena in the ring. Perform a grapple. Just press X at the head. Okay. That's what happens when I press that. Okay, nice reversal. Ooh, what impact. Okay, the head. Uh, I think this is the, the head. beginning of the end. Is he done? Look at this. He let okay, it go. Let's go back and this again. A grapple. Press X at the head of a ground. Okay, press X. Maybe I gotta like X in something. Maybe that's just it. Oh, be no. agonizing for the arm. Oh, I think that would have been. I think Cena is a little surprised by the off look at Ryan Danielson. That's what happens when I press X. Maybe I gotta press it, not hold it. Is he done? Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Yo. John Cena is the very prototype of a WWE superstar. Okay. He's got the physique and athleticism of a future WWE champion. I completely agree, Byron. We've already seen him beat some main event talent like Chris Jericho and Rikishi That's right. in singles action. The two of you were spot on about John yeah. Cena's potential. Cena's a blue chipper if there ever was one. I hope Brian Danielson's taking notes tonight. And Takiri finds its mark. Why is it running? Why is it making me run? Oh, what incredible nope, that was not it. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Panic starting to set in for Cena. This could be a huge upset right Yo, here. I've seen Razor Ramon on Raw in 1993, guys. A high it's like they know and don't want me to do this about move. to meet one of WWE's best. Cena is too distracted by Brock Lesnar on the horizon. He's got to focus on surviving this match. Don't worry, I'm going to get this move. Don't you worry. Point out how different John Cena's opponents will be this month. Tonight he takes out a beauty little indie wrestler, probably worse than Saxton in the ring, that nobody knows. On Thursday he takes on the next big thing, Brock Lesnar. Well, despite your disdain for Brian Danielson, jump, he might have it. That's it. I didn't. I held it. Is he done? And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. There we go, baby. Back in control of Cena, right back to the arm. Great strategy, weaken the poor, powerful yeah, Cena by idea. taking away one of his arms. Ryan sticking to his wheelhouse, not taking any unnecessary risks here against John Cena. Oh, just looking to control and neutralize the bigger man. Cena, though, back to his feet, and Brian continues to work on the arm, but now Cena, test of strength, and you don't want to get into a power battle with John. Absolutely not. Cover here, and a kick out. What? And again, Cena powering Danielson down. Oh, look at this incredible core strength by Danielson. Cena cannot believe that he can't get Danielson's oh, shoulders on the mat. Going to try it again, and Danielson able to go And send Cena flying. Incredible sequence. Oh, man, Cena just took Danielson's head. Let me say that sometimes there's no replacement for brute force. That's Cena with that ruthless aggression. Beautiful Destroy technique. Damage, John Cena. Okay. This should be, this should be oh, the impact. Guys, when I play the game, I always go like this. Every time I play, I be like, tap the buttons. Y'all know the work. Y'all play this game. I was never a fan of showboating, but there is a time and a place for it. Just ask Cena. What a stomp! Good grief! Guys, 
are we about to see a scrawny nerve beat John Cena here on Velocity? It's ruthless aggression. They call him a scrawny Michael. nerve. I love That's it. crazy. Look at Brian. Wow, is this his finisher back then? This one's over. What is Here's this? Moment, Michael. Harsh impact. What is that? That has got to be it. Well, John Cena's in a real bad spot. The former strike. Okay, all I got to do is this, right? Is that it? That was a strike. That cost some teeth. Teeth. It literally hold X near the head. Oh, okay. We're seeing that trail. If y'all could tell, your boy cut his cut his beard a little bit, the mustache, trim this up a little bit. If only y'all could tell, you know. Ruthless, ruthless aggression from John Cena, and it's overwhelming Danielson. Danielson oh, isn't used is to John the big Cena stage guy. Cena's aggression. got this all wrapped up. Oh boy, oh boy he is rolling. Mother f mm. Not even gonna do it. Nothing I can, oh shit. Oh, you thought you had me. John Cena looking to take over. Looking up. Put oh. Brian Danielson where he wants him. And no. it's a come no. And he got it. Brian Cena Danielson with the win. Did not for win. Brian Danielson. Here is your winner. John. Valiant effort by Danielson. Oh, he Cena with like too much tonight. A hard fought I don't know what to do that. The brand old shit. I don't know what those are. Gotta be impressed with Cena tonight. It says. Oh. Do I want to start the next match? Let's just see. Let's just get into it. Let's just see what happens. A lot of guys would have parlayed competitive matches on heat and velocity into being signed full time to WWE. But that's not how things turned out. It's like my wife Bree likes to say if anything was easy for me, I wouldn't be Daniel Bryan. But before I could become Daniel Bryan, I was Bryan Danielson. And as Bryan Danielson, I went on quite the run through the Indies. Over the course of seven years, I won my first world championship and had some amazing matches against guys who went on to become major WWE superstars. Guys like Seth Rollins, Cesaro, all sorts of guys all over the place. A lot of hardcore fans even say these were some of the best matches of my career. Personally, I credit these matches and opponents for helping me build the foundation I would later need to make it as a WWE superstar. Fans on the indie scene weren't the only ones who took notice, because in 2010, WWE re-signed me and Daniel Bryan was officially born. My name is Daniel Bryan. I've been wrestling all over the world, and finally, finally, I have an opportunity here in the WWE. Although much like childbirth, as I've heard from my wife, this was also a somewhat painful experience. I came back as part of NXT, which wasn't like the NXT that you know and love today. At the time, NXT was a reality show with rookies and pro mentors. Unfortunately, my pro was The Miz. People will say that you're great, that you're a star, that you're ready for the WWE. You think you're ready? Yes. Yes, I do. But one thing you have to learn about the WWE is you have to expect anything. Believe it or not, we didn't get along very well back then either. 
I think the most ridiculous thing we had to do in NXT was the obstacle course. Okay, so you're gonna do the monkey bars. Then we go in the ring and juggle. Juggle. Then you're gonna see how fast you can drink soda. Side note, it was actually supposed to be a hot dog eating contest. When they realized that it was vegan and they didn't have any vegan hot dogs, they turned it into a soda drinking contest. They didn't know vegans could drink soda. I hadn't drank any soda in years. Think, watching that on TV, a grown man just drinking soda from a cup. That's it. Despite that, I did have the tremendous opportunity to show the WWE Universe what I was capable of when I got to face the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. I loved watching Chris Jericho from the time I was in high school, the stuff that he did in WCW, being able to go against the world champion on NXT on the first show, win, lose, or draw, that elevates you, and I was very thankful for that opportunity. Okay, guys. This is, this is getting juicy. So, you know, I'm going to play this one. We're on the inaugural episode of NXT, the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho, taking on the Miz's rookie, Daniel Bryan. I've been looking forward to this main event. WrestleMania is on the horizon, but tonight is a the WrestleMania. Let's see what I got to do. It's for all the NXT rookies. Well, Daniel Bryan was excited earlier in the night to be out on the biggest stage of his life. But that was before he knew he was going to face the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to have to learn to take Miz's advice if he wants to survive here. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. He really, he's really playing with me. have been running by all night guys Daniel Bryan has to put everything that happened earlier in the rear view mirror yes and focus yes. on Chris um, so Jericho he doesn't, he doesn't do those at the moment oh. let's get it we running through these guys He playing with me right here. He playing with me. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, I ain't got none. Can't do nothing. Gotta let him get me. You know, Byron, I have to wonder if Daniel Bryan is still thinking about earlier tonight when his pro mentor, Miz, slapped him across the face. Come on, man come on, circle, circle. Has got wow. to carry that embarrassment for some time. Especially with it coming out of your first day on the job. Is that something wow. Yoshi Tatsu taught you, Byron? Miz did say he was going to slap some personality into his rookie. Here's the cover. And Daniel your boy, your boy nasty with the reversals. Oh, wow. I see Brian actually testing the champion here a bit. It must be the inspiration from the Miz that's propelling this offense. With Daniel. Is he done? Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Takes him down in a major way, too. When this guy's on, look out. Ugh. What was his signature back then? Got the leg. Leg and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Look, 
Wow. Michael, do you think that Chris Jericho might become a believer here tonight? Wow. I think that they're playing Universe with me. Is going to become a believer in Daniel Bryan. No, they playing no, with me. Chris Jericho is a six-time world champion. He's a nine-time Intercontinental champion. He's a pro to a rookie that shows him respect. That Jericho is out here to put this Bryan goof in his wow. place. Wow. They really playing with me. What are you doing? So it's literally just okay. I thought so. There's no way that Jericho's gonna lose to this guy. Yeah, but the way this match is going, it's a real possibility. Oh. Jericho though needs a breather, and he rolls out of the ring to try to do that. Wise maneuver from a wily veteran. Uh, I'm not sure. Jericho. That's it, because it's the making of the Billy Oh, you can see, you can see on the side where it's red. I don't think Miz liked the fact that Brian threw his body in harm's way, and I, I can't say I blame him. What's this guy thinking? What did that say to do? Let me see, okay. Um, what is it? What does it say? Let me see. Standing on the apron, press to perform a springboard attack on an opponent in the ring. What is a springboard attack? Is that like off the sprint, like... It's not letting me do it. Uh -oh. He's moving like a man possessed. Oh, here we go. Guys, you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, no. Some sort of oh, boy. See, I told you. Oh, boy. This one's over now. Roll him into the walls of Jericho. Tap him out, Chris. All right, he's trying to fight it. Rolls through. What a counter by the technician there. Oh, my God. Oh, Heel hook is in. Jericho's in trouble. Jericho trying. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? They have no choice. He made it to the bottom rope. You've got to be impressed, Michael, with what we're seeing from Daniel Bryan. Did he win yet, Byron? Daniel Bryan thinks he's... Oh, man. You can't allow a veteran like Jericho any time to recover. You're right, Corey. That was a rookie move. And now he's going to pay for it, Byron. That may, very well may be the case, Michael. This loser's going to lose again. Oh. Lion Tamer. And Brian, hold on. Oh, no. man. You got your wish, Cole. Daniel Bryan fought valiantly, but just couldn't hang with a chance. Yeah, this time, the experience was just too much for Daniel Bryan. And listen, Miz has got to be so disappointed, and I don't blame him. Luck of the draw, Miz got this loser to be his protege, and now Miz is a little bit of here. Oh, tough luck, give me a break. Oh, oh man, not the Miz. Miz is obviously frustrated with not his star the Miz. Oh, yeah, so That's you're frustrated, crazy. so that's okay. Now you can beat him up. Yeah, start winning some matches, then you won't get beat up anymore. That's ridiculous. What this is good thing, huh? This is lost his mind. Lying on his back, looking at the lights again.
That's crazy. So I'm going to just leave it out here, guys. That's it. I'm going to exit. I am very excited for the next WWE. I heard a lot. A lot of, I heard a bit of stuff. You can play as a female. Heard they might have the, the showcase be about the women. Very excited about this. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for some WWE fans who join, who watch my videos, you know. Thank you, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. You see your boy got his logo now. All that good stuff. You know, you know your boy really trying, really working. That's it. Peace, love, and positivity from your boy, Johnny Bones. Y'all know. Y'all know how it goes. The Miz, he's one of my favorite superstars right now, so... But, you know, he acting like a jerk, but that's not besides the point. But, you know, your boy out. Thank you.